1 Corinthians 15, we see a well-known rapture passage. But today I want to focus mainly on verse 54, which is an awesome statement that can only be applied to the generation of Christians living during the time of the rapture. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 52 through 55 says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where? Is your victory. When Paul says, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory, he is referring to the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 25, verses 8 and 9, which says the following He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. The rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. And it will be said in that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. This prophecy speaks to a generation that will be eagerly waiting upon the Lord to come and rescue them and transform their mortal bodies into his glorious resurrection body. Philippians 3 says he will transform our lowly bodies to be made like his glorious resurrection body. But what makes us very unique in this rapture generation is we will be the fulfillment of the, of the prophecy of death being swallowed up in victory. Listen to Hosea 13 verse 14. I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from, the, from death. O death, I will be your plagues. O grave, I will be your destruction. Pity is hidden from my eyes. Revelation 1 verse 18. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Jesus Christ holds the power of death. As Hebrews 2 14 says, in so much as then, as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is, the devil. Death is a constant in our fallen world. No one escapes it. Many have felt the sting of death through its pains, sorrows, torture, and agonies. But the generation that gets raptured while still alive, will experience death being swallowed up in victory, as they will not experience death, but be changed in a twinkling of an eye. Can you believe we are living in that prophetic generation? How many Christians have longed to be in the position that you and I are in right now? Paul reminds us that death is the greatest enemy of a man's soul. And the sting and severity of sin is death. While the terrible power of sin is the perfect law of God, which is the greatest tool to identify men's sinfulness and point us to Jesus Christ. But thanks be to God for on that day, death is overcome by life. Death is consumed into victory. Death will be triumphantly destroyed. This is indeed a blessed hope. For everyone who has been born of God and positioned in Christ, for on that day we will be able to say, Death has truly been swallowed up in Christ's victory. Maranatha, saints, Maranatha.